Hey Aries, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. We're going to hop into your reading and see what's happening with you and the person on your mind or whoever comes through the strongest in the reading. Could be somebody who's thinking about you. All right. So <clears throat> let's get started. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if the reading helps, if I resonate. And if you do choose to subscribe, make sure you hit the notifications bell. All right. So, yeah, let's check in to see what's happening currently. And then towards the um, end of this reading, I'll start getting into part two. And that part is on Vimeo. All right. That link is in the description top of the comments. But for right now, Aries, let's see what's happening currently. All right. Reunion. Reciprocity. Unsatisfied. Okay. All right. Reunion. We will always come back to each other. Okay, Aries. So maybe there, this is always like the six of cups for me. So maybe there is some sort of reconciliation going on here, Aries, right now. We do have temperance. <laughs> this is my temperance card, right? Reciprocity. Okay. Sorry if you can't see it all that well. I've told the other signs, like I'm kind of over the ring light. It's getting on my nerves. So this is the lighting. It's just more chill. So, yeah, you have, I'm getting, uh, okay, okay, hold on. You do have unsatisfied mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. I wasn't happy with the way things were going. I feel like that's your person. All right. Let's get into this, okay? We're going to circle back to this. So I get some sort, you know, I get reconciliation, Clarified. How is uh, Aries person? How's this person showing up for Aries right now? How's this person showing up for Aries right now? All right, the fish. So this could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Hmm, we have the cheetah and the buffalo. Now, the fish is someone who is uh, a little lost, okay? That's what I was getting with your person. Your person showing up here with the unsatisfied mistakes okay so Aries I'll this is what I'm getting so far I'll, I will keep it all the way 100 with you whoever this is I'm getting like I feel like they're on the fence with you and somebody else okay now this someone else could be somebody that th th this is if it's romantic okay what this someone else for who this is uh your person could have children could have family all right maybe this is about their children all right But I get like they're feeling lost in that connection. Okay. Hold on. Clarify Aries. Show me Aries. They're not, I feel like they're dissatisfied with how things are going or have went with who that is, okay? Okay, hold on. Show me Aries, how's Aries showing up in this connection? Okay, yeah, the tiger, wow. 
You have the B. Okay, Aries, sorry about that. Let's start here. I pulled how you're showing up, okay? You show up as the tiger. You have the tiger. You have, which is your energy, it's fire. You have, oh, Jesus. You have the tiger, you have the bee, and you have the stingray. Your intuition uh, for a number of you, I'm sorry, like this, that, this is going to hit. Like you feel as though this person is like on the fence about another situation. Like they're emotionally torn between you and, you know, maybe, I don't know if it's their family or maybe even some sort of, if we don't want to relate it in that way, Aries, it's some sort of um, dream, goal, aspiration, something that really like tugs on their heart, okay? So there's that. Now, that's, your intuition is like picking up on a lot, okay? And it may even happen a lot at, in the evening, at night, that you pick up on all of this, you download all of this information about, you know, this person, what's going on with them. Um, I feel like a number of you with the B would probably tell me that you feel like you're the one putting in majority of the work. You may have complained to this person about that, like, hey, I do all the talking, I do all the communicating, I'm... Or, yeah, like you put in a lot of work, okay? There's something about that. You put in a lot of effort. You're tired, okay? Sometimes a bee shows up when somebody is tired and is complaining about, you know, hey, I do this, I do that. Like, So that could be how you're showing up here for who this is. But a number of you, I am getting here with the stingray. There is also this part of you, this is water, and this is your emotion. There is... There, the enlightenment I feel like you're getting from this connection for a number of you. There's two ways because you do have reunion. We will always come back to each other. I need to pull more cards. Let me tell you right away what I got with this. Right away, it's like your intuition and your guidance from an enlightened higher place is saying that you need to move in a new direction away from this situation it could also be that your you represent a new path for who this is okay so you are the stingray where you're almost triggering this kind of like you know <laughs> um this different emotion or you know it's like yeah it's like you're triggering this person and they're like, what's going on? Like, why am I feeling like, even though it's like there, there's something here where it's pulling them towards you. They're feeling this pull towards you. Okay. Okay. A number of you know that you represent change for who this is. Like you would, you represent a new start, a new beginning for this person. But again, they're like very torn, okay? Um, between you and another situation where they're not really completely satisfied. But the issue is, I think this person is like connected either through children, either through, it's something where, because they show up as the buffalo, with with this other person too and the cheetah they've put a lot of energy okay they've invested monetarily in this you understand so it's like but for you i think you're just like you're like it doesn't matter like you know yeah you're like it doesn't matter you know it's I don't know I feel like you, you're telling this person with the B some of you you're complaining you're like listen what are you going to do here like you got to be done with that clarify how this person is oh, showing up here hold on I saw the king of wands three of cups how's this person 
showing up here for Aries. Okay, the Two of Pentacles, yeah. The Hermit, Knight of Wands. We got Virgo, we got Capricorn, and we've got uh, Sag. So the Two of Pentacles, this is somebody who is trying to decide what is best for them. You know, again, I do get this energy of like going back and forth. Okay, this person going back and forth. This is Jupiter and Capricorn. So this is the energy of, you know, what is going to, where am I going to see the most growth? Where am I going to be the luckiest? Okay, it's very much, and if you look, there's two ships. You see what I'm saying? Two relationships, okay? Um, juggling, like your person juggling. I get a very like in and out type of energy. Here you are, the emperor. That's your knight of wands. Knight of wands. I feel like you're obviously the emperor. That's you, Aries. Your person here is like that knight of wands, okay? Where you're very solid, you're very like structured, you're very um how do I say this? Like even the tiger and the emperor is giving me a very like heavy energy. Um, settled. This person gives me kind of like an unsettled type of energy. Could be very nomadic, moving moving about. Right, Knight of Wands. Look at him in that that car. Okay, flighty. Hold on. Clarify how does uh, Aries show up here for who this is right now? Okay, three swords. The hangman and the seven of cups. Yeah. I feel like that seven of cups is you like, I don't know what's going on, but... I also feel like this is you being very like, <laughs> like your person over here is like maybe struggling to read you or you're struggling to read them. Okay. Um, I don't know with the, oh wow, I grabbed the hangman in reverse because some, you know, some of you know, making, starting, you're already starting to make some sort of decision. Some of you know, like they're like, this is a third party situation in a, in a, you know, I don't like to always go there, but I am getting that vibe. Like, you know, for you, you're understanding, like, I need to start moving forward. You know, you're getting that guidance where you're like, cause on the stingray, I, I see all like the chakras all lit up and you're listening more to your higher self, divine guidance. And I feel like it's it's guiding you in a way where you're just like, I maybe just need to accept this for what it is. I need to, but I get like for a number of you, you're like sitting with, uh, some of you are sitting with this heartbreak. All right. Yeah, like you're sitting with this right now. With the hangman. Okay. Clarify. How does uh, this person show up for Aries? Right now, Universal Spirit. 
How's this person showing up for Aries right now? The chaser. They have abundance and heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together or perfect. So it's like, this is what I'm getting with that nine of wands. It's like this person or the knight of wands. It's like this person being very flighty. It's like this person may tend to chase after you, Aries, but they could also be a very codependent person. They could be in a codependent relationship outside of the connection with you. There's something there having to do with codependency. Maybe it's their children. Maybe it's something with their children, right? Because it's a codependent. All right. Now, something here is going on where they are keeping a positive mindset. Okay. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. You know, for a number of you, I do get like you're sitting over here, you're involved with who this is. And for them, I feel like that's great. Like they they are looking like, OK, I have an option here with Aries or I have an option here with this other situation. So, you know, that that's the energy of like, you know. Even with, with, yeah, with fish, I'm getting this very abundant energy, okay? Like I have, I have a lot here, okay? Hold on. And that's the Jupiter, that's the Jupiter energy that I'm getting. Um, clarify. But you're in the space of like, you have this Saturn. See, they're in this space of like growth, expansion. Okay, like, you know, I have so much. What am I going to do with it? You're in this place of uh, restriction. This is Saturn. So you're feeling like even with your heart, it's an energy of restriction. Okay, some of you literally you're like, it's like my, my heart is breaking. My heart hurts. Okay. There's an energy of like karma over here with you too, with the uh, with the uh, seven of cups with Scorpio energy. I think it's a lot. It's a lot for you being in this unknown space. And yeah, the hangman. It's like you're just there waiting for the other shoe to drop. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Clarify. Clarify how um, Aries is showing up here for who this is right now. Heart. Heartbroken. That's what I got with the three of swords. Yes. Deeply hurt. Sad. Separation. Like you're in separation from who this is. Okay. You do have coffee cup. All right. So. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. So it's like almost like, you know, there there are moments maybe here with you and your person. Like I got that with the B where you have conversation and you talk. But it's like, you know, for those of you that that part resonates for, but it's these in-between moments where it's it stresses you out. That's what I'm getting here. It's like stressful. And yeah, like you show up with not enough. Like whatever's going on here, you're like, it's just not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting here. And that, that it, you are, like, it is this energy of feeling lost. Like, okay, what's about to happen next? And for those of you, it's like maybe, you know, some of you, yeah, you've had a very, you've had a conversation, you've had an uplifting conversation. And this person is kind of sitting here like, okay, well, well, now I have choices. Now I have, op I'm being honest with you, Aries, this is what I'm getting. They're like, now I have choices. Now I have options. I have Aries over here. And then I have this situation. I don't know what that situation is for all of you. For all of you, it's a number of things. Okay. Maybe this, per remember I said, maybe this person is chasing a goal, chasing a dream, money. Okay, 
But then with you over here, for them, they may feel, right, with reunion. And to some degree, you feel it too. It's like we always come back to each other. For a number of you, this person travels. They work at it. They work somewhere far. They have to travel for work, okay? There's distance, all right? <clears throat> I think a number of you all, like, you know this person's coming back around. You know this person's always going to come back around. But for, for a number of you, you're like, I don't know if I can keep doing this or keep doing that, okay? It's something about that, all right? So, let's see. Feel free to hit the like button if you want to. Um, let's see. Subscribe if you want to. And make sure if you subscribe, you hit the notifications bell. All right, guys. So, this is what we're going to talk about in part two. What happens next with you guys, Aries. What happens next with Aries? How do these two move forward together next? Okay. Confusion. You've got habits and commit. The commitment card is starting to come out now, y'all. You've got confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. Okay. Um, clarify. Knight of Swords in reverse. You may be, I don't know, Aries. You may cut this person off. Or there's like a lack of communication. I'm also getting like lack lack of honesty. Okay, just to be quite like be quite honest. I'm getting lack of honesty. Um, you know, lack of truthfulness. All right. Um, clarify how Aries and their person move forward together. Coming up next, okay, healthy choices, all right, making healthy choices and loving in life, self-love, self-care, being happy, I feel like that's you, I feel like that's you, I think for a number of you, because I see the five of pentacles, a number of you are like, I don't know about this, and I think some of you, I don't know if you block whoever this is, or you just stop talking because it's a healthier choice for you, Aries, that's what I'm getting so far, all right, so I'm going to continue this on Vimeo, going to pull the rest of the cards to show you what I see more about what I see happening next with you and your person, how you guys are showing up, what this person would like to happen, what they think is going to happen with you two, the outcome I get. going to give you a timeline of when I see forward movement. And then we're going to pull your advice from my cards as well as from the Crystal Spirits Oracle deck to give you advice on what you should be doing here. All right. Um, if you feel like that will benefit you and you already don't know what you want to do. Right. If you feel like that would help, then um, feel free. Click the link below in the description, top of the comments for Vimeo. OK, guys, if this is where we part ways, Aries, I love you guys. I really hope this message helps and I'll see you soon. Peace.